They who laugh last, laugh the hardest. Good morning, everyone. Folks, for the longest time, the Sussex squad and their arrogance were laughing and gloating about how they were going to end us and we would be over and non-existence. And they took pride in ruining people's lives and things like that. Well, they're not the ones laughing anymore. We are. Let's get started. So this is, again, part of my series. You guys wanted it for the next couple of weeks. I will be, you know, dumping everything, everything I have on these people. Uh, these first few videos are from um, an interview they were doing, like a Twitter spaces they were doing. Um, I'm getting these out first because they're the easiest for me to get out um, because I have two and a half years of stuff on these people to go through and reorganize and repackage because a lot has changed since then. But you know, in the spirit of fairness, transparency, and truthfulness, we're going to let them talk in their own words about how they were going to end us. But first, wanted to share some good news with you guys. And these, these pictures are, are from my good buddy, the Royal Grift, of, you know, Megan in various shapes and sizes on various states, etc. So, on Twitter, there's an account called Salty Duchess, and she has been, she's responsible for a lot of the articles that you're seeing coming out about uh, the Sugars and the Sussex Squad and what they've done and their abuse, and, you know, we all know what they've done. Uh, she's been spearheading that with a lot of help from everybody on Twitter, giving her information and everything. So she tweeted today. My reporter friend is asking about the moon bump fiasco, and her reporter friend, whomever that may be, there have been several articles about these scumbags out there. I'm not sure which one exactly she's referring to, but she does have one, is now asking about the pregnancies, folks. It's all starting to unravel. They want to know what would it achieve by faking it? And, you know, there's all the answers and everything. So I just wanted to let you know that things are slowly but surely happening. Want to give a round of applause to her. She's she's doing a great job and everybody else that's participating in this. So wanted to share that good news for you folks, because if one starts asking and one writes an article, the rest of them will. So I was able to obtain a photo of Megan, a real-time photo of Megan watching Twitter and all of our YouTube videos, watching everything completely collapse. It's so funny to go back and listen to these people and their arrogance and how things were going to, and, and now how things have changed. So here's Megan watching and listening with all of us, only we're laughing and she's not this time. So this recording is going to be, again, from uh, Feb February 12th, 2022. Let's get started. It's unbelievable. This guy, oh, yeah. he's gotten away with gotten away with currency. He's another criminal. He, he's, he, he's another criminal. Um, They're talking about Duke Pantalemon. Uh, he's back. More on him later, but I did post, people have been posting about that him on Twitter, and um, he was one of us that, that got a lot, but again, more on him later. Because some of the things that I don't want to discuss because it's part of an investigation that I don't want to put out there, he's a criminal. Now, whether he he faces justice or not, because his father is a former Met commander, and you know I'm sure he still knows people in the Met is another question, but he's a criminal, just like just like uh, Wally, and he's been harassing people for years. You know, he has, like I said, a bunch of profiles out there um, where he's taken on people's identities, and you know, I mean, he's he's a piece of work, and that's why, you know, it took us some time to really nail him down, and and, and I will admit that we got him mixed up with someone else who is just as shady, by the way. Um, so, you know, putting a person's name out there that's up to no good and saying, hey, you know, this is who he is, is not doxing. Um, but I also don't condone, you know, harassing people either. Um, if you say, well, you know, this is what Alex DeBarrow, DeBarrow, 
All the Sussex squad does is harass people, but anyway. <laughs> wow, whatever the heck his name is, did and show the tweaks of what he did, that's fine. But if you start like stalking guy harass, I'm not down with that. You know, let law enforcement handle that. But you know, he's he's you know, he can tweet out things if he's tweeting, he can go on Reddit and post things, he can say whatever he wants. He knows he's caught. I'm I'm a million percent sure we got the right guy because we have concrete evidence um, that we could not because it's you know it's in a gray area that we could not and I could not tweet out that leads I mean it's definitely him I promise you I would delete my account and never show my face again if we were wrong on this that's that's how sure I am as sure as my name is Christopher Booby. Um, as sure as I am that Yankee Wally is a criminal and that she's been doing a lot of criminal things over the uh, over the past three years that I know about that I can't talk about right now, but she's a criminal. Period. Period. They're they're criminals. Can I ask? Does the criminal stuff? Because I know that people who are listening are just this is riveting, right? Uh, does the criminal stuff include Meghan Markle? It it, 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 it it encompasses a lot of different things. And I know you, you're you really good with asking me these. That's Sarah Data, for those that don't know. These questions, did you like me to, to, to give little tidbits? It encompasses the, a lot of different things, and it could it could include her. But it's not completely separate from this space? No, it's not. Mm, it's part of it, okay. I didn't say that. I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it technically would be part of it, yes, yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and that will be revealed to everybody at some point, I guess, at somehow, some point, in a I, way that I, it doesn't destroy an investigation. Right. I, I, I believe soon. Um, I, I believe soon. And Yankee Wally knows exactly what I'm talking about. If she's listening, she knows what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I know a, a lot of the people in this room, um, when I first started investigating, they were kind of you know, they were suspicious and, and apprehensive about my civil and myself, and they went to see where we go with things. And I think now I've earned enough, um, you know, leeway in terms of if I say something, you can kind of, you know, I wouldn't say put your life on it, obviously not, but I think everyone knows now when I say you know, X, Y, and Z is going to happen. X, Y, and Z happens. And I would not say that because I know how people are. You know, Boozy said this and this never happened. The hell with Boozy. I know how that goes. Mm-hmm. So I would, not, I would not put myself on the line if I did not think or if I did not know um, what I was saying, you know, was mm-hmm. accurate or, you know, or whatever. Can I ask them one more thing, though? The young quality, just one last thing. Because sure. I know that my people are thinking, does it include any coordination with other people? Yes. Right. Okay. So it includes coordination with other people and it has it impacts Megan somehow. Okay. That's all I'm all saying. right. Huh? Yep. I said that's all I'm saying. What do you say? Sorry? No, I said that's all that's all I'm saying. Okay. Let's not forget that Sarah Data has cut and run and deleted all of her accounts because she's hiding because of what she's done to us and Dan Wooten. So she's gone. I bet you f- she feels real stupid or going to when she has to listen to this again. All right, everybody. You heard that. So we want you to... We're, we're so, Buzi, I'm so happy you're in this space because, like, my thing, these tro- everybody has, like, their thing in the squad. Uh these cyber stalkers are really dangerous people. And I know I don't contribute to a lot of things in this world. Like I'm terrible at like tweeting, highlighting, cause you know, you need to kind of uh, counter the negativity with positive stuff about Megan and Harry. And sometimes I just leave it up to the people who are really good with that stuff. And I just kind of stick to what, what I, my expertise is. So I'm just, I see what you do and we're just so happy you're here. Let me just say that, especially after what you just said about the uh, supposed cult leader. Um, I wanted to also ask you uh, about, uh, for instance, 
Okay, so I ask you about the YouTube thing. Um, okay, so one of the questions that I have is from somebody who's listening. What are some of the police actions you will take? But I think you already went, in, went over that. Well, well you know, it, it's not what, you know, what we would do, more or less. It's like we present the evidence to the police and they figure out what crimes were committed or, you know, if any crime was committed. Um, you know, here in the United States, there were, there was one individual, I'm not going to say her name, and we did go and, and went to the police, and um, she she ended up basically saying, okay, you know what, I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to leave you alone, and, and th- that worked out. Um, sometimes you just have to let people know that you're in business, and, and they, they leave you alone, and, mm-hmm. and she um, it, people like Yankee Wally, uh, you know, the Duke characters, these are people that need to be charged with something or there are people that need to be sued and or sued. Mm. Um, some people who will like, just like the world, you know, see the world burn or whatever. Um, and that, because, it, it, and here's why I say that, especially with Yankee Wally. She even admitted that putting this video up could ruin her, you know, destroy her channel. And she still did it anyway. And she did it because she felt like I have to, I have to destroy this guy. You know, it didn't work. You know, so she did all of that, and I'm still here. And that's the part they don't, they don't get. Like I don't care what you throw at me, I'm not going anywhere. And they're just not, they're just not used to that. Um. So yeah, you know, it depends on the individuals that you're dealing with. So. We can't, you know, we can't, you know, we, I mean, technically you can file charges and things like that if, if, you know, the cops think that, hey, yeah, this is, this is a crime. Um, would you like to file charges against this person? But they, it's usually them who determine, uh, you know, like what should be charged if a crime is even committed. So right now in the UK, they are investigating what we sent them because we have so much stuff. They could see like, okay, this is just not you know, BS. Now I, I, I'll be straight up. You know, when we first contacted them, they were just like, whatever. Um, and the reason being is because they didn't know our capabilities and they didn't know what we had, and they don't have the resources. And I've, I've said this a million times before: agencies around the world just don't have the resources to do this. This is very expensive. It's very time, you know, time consuming, and you can't have an officer or two look into this stuff. They'll be doing this forever. You know, we have, you know, I have a team of four people and then a bunch of volunteers of some of you that are listening to us, you know, listening to this right now, who've been volunteering, people who have expertise in, in this field um, that can do this. So we're basically crowd, you know, crowdsourcing whatever information and putting our heads together and, and, and working on this. So when they realized that the amount of data and information we had, they started taking us seriously, and they have been taking us seriously. So you know, if they can tweet out, oh, Boozy's not really working with the Med, and they're not, they're, they don't keep with going. I mean, they can tweet out whatever they want. They can tweet out that the sky is made out of of, of cotton and, and all that other mm-hmm. stuff, but that's and true. I um, also would like to add that that's not what they're saying within their own group, because you know, we are right in there too, a lot of bodies. That's not what they say when they're alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more time? I said that that's not what they say when they are alone. Oh, Besides yeah. the stalkers, when they're alone, they are trying to understand what you mean. And so- Sarah Data is calling everybody cyber stalkers, and this isn't in this tape, when she, in another tape which will get played, talks about how she has a Megxit account and talks to everybody, but they're cyber stalkers. <laughs> see who got caught who did what so they are just that's bluster when they say yeah uh, I'm, I'm, fine, blah, blah, blah. but i think i think by now people know that uh when i say what i say on twitter i i mean business um and that's why i said in the beginning i understand a lot of people here do not know me um the people who followed me for years do know me and do know like i'm not going to put myself on the line and tweet things uh, because, like I said, I, 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 I first thing I don't like disappointing people, but then I also don't. I gotta be honest. I don't like to be made a fool of. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and the people will call you out, especially the sisters in this room. If you screw <laughs> up, they're going to call you out. Period. 
And I just, I, it's one thing if I have hate accounts coming after me, but I don't need the Sussex squad coming after me as well. Um, <laughs> not going to say something that's not factual. Yeah. Um, so, so when I say to you that they're taking it seriously, they're taking it seriously. And I've, and I've, and I've shared emails and stuff like that with Jonas as well. <laughs> updated. I have a question about if you can talk a little bit about their current, um, because you did tweet out some like numbers about their current uh, activity, how it's gone down so much. But I wanted to read before we move on to that from Hani. She wants to say, let him know that he's right. We were suspicious that he has come through. And the fact that it was a black American man who's holding these people accountable means everything to us. She wanted to say that to you, Buzi. And I, I appreciate that. And I also don't take offense because, you know, I believe that you have to earn people respect and you have to earn people trust, period. And, you know. There goes Sarah Data eating again, everybody. I, I, you know, I, I don't want people to think like, OK, well, you know, we should have blind trust now or anything like No, I still want to be held and I want my company to be held accountable if we don't deliver on things that you said we're going to deliver on. So I try not to, you know, overpromise and underdeliver with with anything. Um, but you know, with this situation, I I'm willing to put this on a line right now and say that this particular group will not be what it is a year from now. I mean, if we're wa- you know witnessing them and watching them unravel as we speak. Um, it's going to be really hard for them to. So. This was two years ago. He said we weren't going to be around a year from then. And we're, he, they're watching us unravel. When in current state, Sarah Data, gone. Pagan Trelwani, or whatever her name is, who you'll hear in, hear in a second, gone. The world exposure of the Sussex Squad that's only getting started. Grab your popcorn. We group and we constitute themselves. Because now they don't even trust each other. And they're more focused on me and attacking me than they really are on, on, on attacking Megan. And that's also their their downfall as well, because they're just wasting a lot of energy swinging at me for whatever reason. So I think, you know, within several months, I don't think this group is going to be, you know, around a, as we know it today. Mm. Yeah, someone did say to me that um, Yankee hadn't put out a video in like this is Pagan Trawani that's gone. One of the, one of their biggest folks. Nine days or something, and then when she came back, she came back attacking you. Um, and it's interesting because you know because of the racial aspect, I guess you are a suitable proxy for the hatred. It doesn't feel like a break because it was never really specifically about Megan in the first place. So I mean, I I don't know how you put up with it. Especially because I know that you do have it in your power to really, if you really wanted to go there, you could go there. And you've remained incredibly professional and you've done the right thing. Um, and I, I think you should be commended, really. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, well, the, the restraint comes from the fact that I don't want to disappoint you ladies and I don't want to disappoint my team and I don't want to disappoint uh, people who have put their trust in, in, in me, if I go off the handle and start doing crazy things, then you know I'm, I'm disappointing a bunch of people. Um, so there, are, there, believe me, there are times where I just want to just do a data dump and just dump everything and then just go, you know, hang out with my son and my children. But I know I can't do that. Um, but I do believe that you know the people who have been in this room and been listening to this and been in this fight for three plus years, going on four years or whatever, um, are going to be vindicated eventually. I, I, I do believe a lot of this stuff is going to come out and they're going to be like, hey, ha-ha, you were right. I, you know, a, a lot of what was told to me in the beginning is true. A lot mm-hmm. of what people suspected is true. Mm-hmm. A lot of the, you know... <laughs> The suspicions um, that's been swirling a, a, around are, are true. Um, and, and Yankee Wally is in the center of a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. She really is. She really is. And it's, 
And it's crazy to me because when you think about who she is, you think about this person who's 65, going on 66 or whatever, and not even really coming from a tech background. And this woman is controlling multiple accounts and she's hiring hackers and, you know, coordinating with people and paying people and all this other stuff. And it's just like, what the hell is happening here? Like, and why is she doing this? You know, because that's that's the big question. That's the million dollar question. Well, why is she doing this? Um, and I think all of that eventually is going to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She she does present herself as someone really unsophisticated and just who's like come across this community by luck and just like managed to somehow set up her YouTube. But uh, I think anyone who digs a little deeper knows that no, 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 actually, it's not that simple. <laughs> and no one is that lucky. No, it's 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 by design, and I and I do be, I, I do believe eventually that if that information will come out. It's not up to us to do this. It's up to reporters, you know, journalists to do this part. Um, yeah. You know, we've been threading, <laughs> we've been walking a, a, a fine line with this stuff. I know I have with my Twitter account, and I know there are people who follow me for you know been following me for a while. And they're like, all right, I'm tired of hearing about Megan Barkley, Yankee Wally, and all this stuff. But I keep it in my feed because I know we're coming to a, a, a head here. I know that uh, the end is near. And I want people to understand, like I'm, I'm letting people see what's happening in the real time. Yeah. So when 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 the bombshell and when things you know come together, they're like, oh my God. You know, I was here from the beginning and I saw all of this play out. So and, and I and I can, and Squadies, I can tell you it's 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 coming. He's not just saying that I am inside some of this stuff too. I've looked into it's coming. And I think for Squadies who are in here, you know, momentum is everything, right, Chris? Yep. Right now, their momentum is downwards. Their light is their candle is just you know, it's uh, becoming weaker and weaker, and we have momentum now. We have the wind at our backs, like Buzzy's literally just like blowing behind us. And we have this has to be our priority for the next like month or so. Like our top priority is to destroy these hate cells uh, because we have momentum. You cannot get a moment like this back. I know a lot of you have been here for much longer than I have. Some of you have been here for five years when Megan was at Suits and it was just a rumor that she was dating Harry. You were already fighting against these royalist trolls. So we will never get this moment back. So all of our cards, every like energy that we have, we just have to stamp this out one for all for Megan. And I think her life will be like half the stuff will be gone for her. The hate, right? Because um, these trolls and the media, they work together. One uh, the media will become weaker without them, the British media. But um, C Christopher, also, I had a question for you from um, someone here. Uh, okay, so here's, oh, here's a very good straightforward question to follow on this. Okay. Hello, I wanted to ask about the pull factor of the YouTube hate accounts, even though the conspiracies have been dispelled regularly, um, to is is so the second part is is there an organized social media strategy to counter the hate accounts and how can us as a community rally behind to protect Boozy's work in this regard? I would love for Boozy to tell us like what are some of the things that we can do to support you. Well, first I would like to mention again, as I did in the beginning, there is a Sussex Squad fundraiser for Boozy right up top in this space. So that um, we need, to, you know, like uh, time is money. He has spent a lot more time on this than he ever anticipated because it became so personal. They went after his family, his daughter. So even if I know a lot of you are already like monthly subscribers or like monthly. To the larger community, since we have a bit momentum on the tweet now, it's right inside this space on top. OK, Buzzy, how can we support you? All right. So, you know, look, people are going to post whatever they want about me or the company and things like that. Um, most people, <laughs> and this is this, and, and let me just say this really quickly because it's important. 
Um, you know, I did a webinar last night and I, I was talking about bot signal and quite a bit of people in the webinar, um, you know, viewing it, listening to it, whatever, um, use bot signal, know what it's about, know what we do, respect, you know, my team, respect me. Um, the same thing with my followers, the same thing with journalists. So I don't really care when these people come and they post stuff that's just not factual. I don't want people wasting their time getting into fights with these individuals uh, about me um, or about Sinem. What I would like to see uh, in terms of support, um, you know, when we do put out a report, or and it may not be about uh, Megan, it might be about Kamala in the future or someone else, is, you know, you folks amplifying that, amplifying the, the factual stuff that we do put out. Uh, because, it, you know, these people... They want you to, um, you know, they want you to spend time arguing with them. Now, there's a caveat to that. And I've said that before in this room. When you see like an article come out, for example, and these folks are like, oh, this is not accurate and things. That's when you jump in. You know, that's when you say, no, the report said X, Y and Z. Here's the proof to that. Now, you don't have to get back into a back and forth. Just put the, the, the correct narrative and, and leave. Um, and the reason behind that is you don't want someone who's jumping in for the first time into a, a, a reply and see all these lies and, and them not knowing anything. But if they see factual information, then they kind of will be able to discern the, the you know, the level headed person versus the troll. I mean, I, there's a person out now saying that I was accused of murder. Um, that's the first I got to tell you. And of course, anyone looking at that 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 knows me or been following me will look at that and be like, "Okay, what what the hell are you talking about?" So why waste energy responding to something like that? Um, so yeah, I don't look. I I don't go out into spaces and say, "Hey, donate to Bot Signal because you know we we really need to cash and things like that." Um, you know, we're not funded um, by you know venture capitalists and things like that, and we've been approached. I can tell you. The reason why is because I want to try to keep bot signal as pure as possible, as long as possible. Um, you know, I've seen so many different conspiracy theories about, you know, us being paid by Meghan Markle. I can tell you we were not paid by her. I kind of wish we, we were now after going through this hell, um, but we were not. Um, this yeah, is really. I believe that he probably wasn't directly quote unquote paid by Meghan Markle, but there could have been a donation made by Meghan Markle. Yeah, I wish that for you too. After this. <laughs> <laughs> um, it yeah. has been helped, but yeah, you need some of that, yeah. Yeah, no, but we were we were not paid. I can tell you if we were, I would be upfront because at the end of the day, us being paid by them still does not, you know, change what is real. Um, there are a lot of um, you know researchers and firms that are paid to do research. That does not mean the data is not accurate or legitimate. And you know, I've said this so many times before in the past. With our final report, we purposely uh, compiled the report in that way. So how can you say the report is not accurate when it's their tweets and it's you know their postings and you know their analytics and all that other stuff? You know, I've heard people say, hey, you know, how, how can you prove that Yankee Wally made this amount of money? Hello, there's the screenshot showing what she made for that particular month and her RPM. And then you can just um, look at look at her past history and you can kind of see roughly what those numbers are, what the figures are. Um, Yankee Wally is definitely making bank doing this and her lying to her, you know, her viewers, it, you know, it's what she does. And she also, I mean, we can't, we don't know how much she's getting in donations, but she brags about getting, you know, oh my goodness. I These people have such an issue with people making money from YouTube videos. I, I just don't, I don't get it. It, it would be like. You know, any journal, any television, any producer of a show, like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. And a lot of times they'll just say, get their channels demonetized, get their channels demonetized. So is it about money or getting it wiped? You'd think that they'd want the channels down. I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I, I got this, this, this large amount of donations recently. So she's getting, she's getting a lot of donations as well. Um, and once again, that's part, that's part of her criminality. Because yeah. it, I know. have a question here from someone mm -hmm. who wants to ask you, uh, why do you think the Samantha Marco connection has been played down in media reports coming off the back of the reports, considering that she's somewhat of a public figure now and her involvement is newsworthy? Um, who are we talking about? Samantha Markle. Why has her involvement <laughs> been played down? Oh, Considering um, that she's somewhat of a public figure and her involvement is newsworthy. Um, I think when we had that in a report, I think that threw journalists for a loop. And I think they needed to do more research. Um, because when you start talking about the sister of... Of, of, of the even half sister of, of Meghan Markle, um, you know, it's it's sensitive. It's your real sensitive areas. I think journalists, you know, want to take their time and, and kind of look at that and, and feel that out a bit more. Um, because, yeah, I, I mean, if we had it on the first few pages and I was a bit surprised myself where, you know, people were focusing on the figures and I was just like, hey, but what about Samantha Markle? Um, so yeah, I, I think I think I think most, you know, the journalists who did read the report um, didn't want to jump right into that. You know, they didn't want to take that part of the report at, at face value. That they wanted to do their own research, and that and that takes time. So even though Samantha Markle has been like been very public doing interviews, um, <laughs> she has yeah. a platform in the UK, like. She's been to their, their 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 largest breakfast show. She's been to GB News several times. Right. So how how how? Like it's not like you're getting a sister out, you know, from her private life and bringing her to the forefront. She right. has been very vocal, right? Speaking so, against. Um, yeah, Megan. yeah. No, you and you're absolutely right. I think I think that's different though than let's say Samantha Markle you know, tweeting with Yankee Wally and, and putting stuff out on the, on the internet. Um, I think, you know, most people already that, that do follow this know that Samantha Markle has been very vocal against her sister. So for them, it's just like sibling rivalry and things of that nature. But that's, that's completely different than, let's say, Samantha Markle being part of her, a hate group or putting out disinformation about her sister. Uh, and that's something I think needs to be flushed out a bit more with journalists. I don't think they want to accuse someone of doing something until they have hard evidence uh, uh, saying, you know, saying that. But in seven six, she wrote a, a public mm -hmm. letter to Harry, not to marry Meghan. I don't know. Yeah. Well, her brother did. But she did worse than that in many ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think um, you're definitely opening up doors and avenues for people to go down. And that's kind of your job because you're really not a journalist, you know. Your job is just to present the data. Right. It's it's up to the journalist to take what we put out there and 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 and, and follow whatever leads they um, uh, find and, and, you know, just follow the data, follow the leads, and wherever it takes them, you know, they report on it. Um, I mean, once again, from the first report to all the way to the last, it, 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 they have they have aged really well. Um, and I do believe, you know, in the future, that a lot of people are going to feel vindicated. Um, I know we've been talking for, for some time. I know people are, are, are a bit tired. Um let me just let me just say this and before I go, and I'll probably take a few more um, um, questions. Um, so I know I know some of you have been here a, a while and been fighting this fight, as, as like Sarah said, and to see that maybe possibly it will come to an end. And, and, and when I say an end, I mean. There's always going to be people that dislike Meghan Markle, and and some people can legitimately dislike her. I mean, if you don't like a person, that doesn't mean that you're a hate account, and I want to make that clear. Um, I mean, I could personally hate 
Meghan Markle or don't like certain things that she she does. And I would still come out and defend her in this situation, not saying I do or don't. Um, but Meghan, Meghan Markle, uh, the attacks, the, the hate accounts, the single purpose hate accounts, uh, as I stated earlier, I do believe are coming to an end, um, as you know it. I do believe Meghan Markle um, will <laughs> will be vindicated eventually. I, I do believe that. I mean, I, I I believe I believe really and truly she's already been vindicated, um, and not to toot our own horn, but you know she did say that she's one of the most trolled people. She did say you know there's you know it's basically like there's something crazy going on. She didn't say in those words, and she was right about that. And we've proven that. I don't I don't care what the hate accounts say. People outside looking in all have said. You know, this is crazy. Like, this is absolutely insane. And in fact, a lot of this stuff is... Wait till everybody starts in with the Sussex Squad does, and they'll see crazy and insane. It's all cut off. Middle-aged white women that are doing this, like, what the hell is going on? Um, you know, this is not like some some troll farm in Cyprus or in Russia or China or something like that. This, this is primarily British, uh, Australian, and... And American women that are going after a biracial or black woman, you know, however you want to like to categorize her. Um, and, and it's just not normal. But so Meghan Markle, I think, uh, have already been vindicated. But I think she'll be, I, I think, as more comes out, uh, I think more people will be like, holy crap, like, I can't believe this was happening. Like, I, I really cannot believe. This is happening. And I do think, and I've said this, that platforms are going to have to rethink how they consider what is coordinated behavior. Because a lot of these accounts, like the Baroness Brock, like she's a like she's another one that's flying under the under the radar, but she is definitely coordinated. She's definitely doing things she should not be doing on any platform. She's get, she's gotten away with it. Mm. So I so I do think, I do think like so Christopher Boozy is talking about the Twitter account Baroness Brock, which I did a video on and everybody's talking about. I think it's Megan, and I'm allowed to think that. And I've presented compelling evidence to support that. But back in February when they did this, February 2022, Baroness Brock was one of the biggest, most hated accounts on their list. They hated her. So what happened? And he'll say it on another one, too. Baroness Brooke, terrible, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway. Like platforms like Twitter, and I do think platforms like YouTube have to, um, you know, acknowledge like, hey, there are groups out there now that are profiting off of these platforms. There are groups out there that are, um, you know, in Discord and, 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 and other platforms that are coordinating and then going on our platform and doing X, Y, and Z. It's not always nefarious. There are people who who go into Discord and you know say certain things in the platform, and they're trying to fight back. But there are other people who go into these these different platforms and coordinate for the sole purpose of of you know hate, for the sole purpose of attacking someone, for the sole purpose of spreading disinformation, misinformation, and you know we got to stop that. Hmm. So, so I just want everyone to know. So the Sussex Squad and having all of these spaces and everything talking about how they're going to end Megxit and end and destroy and stop and go after people, that's not coordinated targeting hate? That, that, are, that, that are listening. And I would not say this if, if I didn't believe it, that change is coming. You know, it, it already has, you know, started and I believe it's going to continue. Thank you, Wally. If you just look at her, you know, just her latest videos, and she's like she's flailing around. She's, you know, she's she's trying to get her footing because she doesn't she doesn't know what to do at this point. Um, you know, she doesn't have the, you know, she lost a lot of people. Um, I shouldn't say she lost a lot of people, but she lost some people with her recent antics. Um, there were people who were turned off by what she did. The Duke guy, uh, Alex, uh, is pissing people off right? within his own quote-unquote community or whatever. Um, 
So as time goes, I mean, Murky Meg, I mean, I don't even really hear much about Murky Meg these days. You know, people. So the Duke is back. I don't know what his plans are, but he's back. So I'm going to let him have to speak on his own, but for himself, but he's back. Murky Meg was having some health problems. She's back, up and running on Twitter, makes YouTube videos. Don't really talk about her that much. And according to Taz, has been keeping a pretty low profile. Uh, according to Taz, is alive and well with, uh, what does she have, like uh, almost 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, active on Twitter. Um, so these are like, the, you know, these are the top accounts. And they they can't even get their footing. So if the top accounts can't really get their footing, then then the rest of them are eventually going to spiral out of control and end up like that as well. Yeah. Well, let's wrap this up. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to let you have the last word, but basically, I wanted to say that the squad. Uh, we need to really take advantage of this momentum and put our energy into this. We will never have a moment like this back to help. That's right, and you fucking blew it because you're a scumbag. And there was nothing behind it, and it's all wrong. Now we're, everybody gets their moment in the sun. Uh, Meghan Markle, the way we've tried for years. Um, Angie, Pagan, did you have anything you wanted to add? And then, Lucy, you could just say a few last words, and we're all... Thank you oh, so no. much for your time. Busy. Yeah, nothing Busy. much. Just to say thank you so much to uh, Christopher Boozy. Uh, for all the work you've done, so sorry that uh, you you know your family has gotten now involved. Um, that that really broke my heart to 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 know that your daughter has been brought into the mix and, and now you have to deal with this all for what just because you're trying to reduce hate mm -hmm. online and uh, you know for that reason I'll keep supporting you and supporting uh, your team. And I urge everybody to uh, support the work that he does. And uh, I must say, I was also among the people when you came at first, not that I was, but I, I, I wanted to keep my expectations in check. And when people were going wild with expectations, I remember I was in a space and I'm like, hey guys, let's just wait, you know, see what, what comes about. And you hit it off the park. Like, you know, it went mainstream. Most of the theories that, you know, the squad had now have been proven and they are mainstream and 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 that's something to celebrate and we have to build on that. and all of our theories are now being proven that uh, i joined the squad in march after the opera interview and i can see the difference from how we were fighting before and after you came with your reports and i agree with sarah we really need to take advantage of this momentum because it won't come so Six Squad, I hope you re feel real fucking stupid listening to this because you look fucking stupid. Two years later, what fools you are. <laughs> Again. So when a report comes out, let you know, let's hit it off the park. Um, I'm hearing the song Glory Days playing in, in, in the background. Those are over. I... I there are some journalists I know who, who might have said questionable things in the past and probably when they tweet a report, like, let's concentrate on passing the message that, you know, forward than concentrating on what somebody could have said in the past. That's all. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. And once again, I don't fault anyone for, you know, you know, kind of like, OK, let's see what this guy does. Um, you know, let's. Let's 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 stand back and, and 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 let's just see if he delivers or not. And I I completely understand that. That it's was the beginning, cool. though. I'm saying no, that's no, the I, that's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I I completely get that, though. I I get it. But I, I want to say something because I see she's here. Amanda is here, and Amanda Amanda is my hero. Um, and the reason the reason being is because she went out there. And she, she talked about the report, and she did an excellent job, by the way. And, and, you know, these people attacked her, and the whole entire time she kept her cool. Like, I couldn't have done that. You know, she has this huge platform. She could have just, like, really went after them, but she kept her cool. 
And I think, and, 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 and that's a testament, you know, I think the good guys, we can't go to their level. You know, we can't do the things that they do because then we're no different. My God. Different than them. Um, you know, I have the capabilities and I have friends who have the capabilities of really making these people lives of hell. But we're supposed to be the good guys. You know, Amanda can go on TikTok and, and start doxing people and say to hell with this. You know, and, and, and 600,000 people would get the information or, or so, but she has not done that. And I think that's just a testament in terms of who we are versus them. Um, you know, they would do that. That's what they would do. And what about Sarah Data making up and fabricating lies and essays sto- and grape stories about a journalist? And we've all kept our, our heads, and, and I believe we're winning. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I, I really appreciate you know, I, what they did to Amanda. You know, I know everyone talks about, you know, me and my family, but what they did to Amanda was terrible. Terrible. So this Amanda, otherwise known as Mata a fact on uh, TikTok, I guess. Maybe she has a... Tr- Who knows? I know she's on TikTok. It doesn't matter. Uh, she has a big account of like a million followers and she's a sugar and that's, you know, she's more than entitled to be that way. But she started talking about the reports. Well, people started looking into her, just looking into the tweets that she had made, talking about Queen Elizabeth dying, her talking about she wanted to shoot up a school... And, 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 you know, end her classmates' lives and things like that. So, you know, they started retweeting it out and everything, and people called her job. Yeah, she got fired. Why did she get fired? Because if she didn't get fired, the, her job, I think she worked at a museum, and she, this psychopath did something, they would have been liable for it. But they're outright. But meanwhile, these are the same people, and I'll play those tapes saying, we're going to call your job, we're going to tell your neighbors, we're going to get you fired. You know the story. Terrible, 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 terrible. That all she did was just talk about a report. She didn't really, she didn't really slam anyone, you know, she didn't really attack anyone. No, she just made death threats to co-workers and fellow students. She just talked about the report. And they went after this young woman and, and made her life hell. And then after she got fired and, you know, she sets up this GoFundMe, they tried to go after the GoFundMe. She wouldn't have got fired just talking about, for merely talking about reports that were made about Meghan Markle, the Twitter reports. Why would she get fired for that? She wouldn't. She got fired for more egregious Frightening reasons. That's why she got fired. Who fund me? You know, calling her a scammer because you know she wants to raise some money to actually live off. Of, and I mean, and and then I'm sorry, I'm taking a professionalism hat off for a second, and I know we're going to go because this also pissed me off. Then Yankee Wally has the nerve to go on her channel and criticize Amanda for accepting donations and say, "Well, why don't she she have money?" You know, you know why, and I'm like, you've been you've been scamming your 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 followers, your viewers, whatever for years. You know, when she first created her channel, she said that she would she would share whatever revenue that comes in. She was you know give people gift cards and things of that nature. Uh, that she really that she's really not supposed to be making any extra money or however she she worded that. Uh, not only she never did that. She continued to accept donations. She's continued to talk about teeth and being robbed and all this other nonsense. And a young woman who you do not expect to have a large savings. I mean, the majority of Americans that keep it real live paycheck to paycheck, that they, they do not have a large savings. So if a young woman, you know, in her 20s, um, you know, get fired abruptly, you don't expect her to, to be sitting on, you know, 20, 30 K to survive for the next, you know, few months. So when Yankee Wally said that, I just, it just showed the type of person that she, she is, that she will still continue to go after this yeah. woman, um, you know, after she was fired, you know, it's, you know, the, when a person is already down, you don't keep kicking them. 
you know, you already got a fire. Why are you going after her GoFundMe? Damn it. Um, so, yeah. Let's no, also no, clarify so, that she was fired because basically her employer didn't want to be harassed by trolls anymore. Right. Wasn't because she- no, her employer didn't want to be liable in case this psychopath lit the place up with, you know, firearms and, and things like that, like she threatened to do. That's basically... <laughs> Yeah. Right. That's basically oh, that's basically what it is. Yeah. And that's what they do. And I can understand that's exactly like they don't have the resources to protect themselves against these nutcases that might show up. You know? Um so I, I understand. I think it's wrong um, what they did, but like this is what the polls are doing. You know? For somebody who's unprepared, yeah. that can be very jarring. And for someone to lose their job because their employer just don't know how to deal with these trolls, it's 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 shocking. Right, I agree with that. I do. Um, but she ended up on top, I think, and I think she's going to be uh, moving on to better things. But I, she's a, she's one of the casualties of all of this. That you know, I it, it affected me a lot. It really did because I did not like what they did to her at all. Mm-hmm. I, I I think that they just they they continue to cross lines that they should not cross. And it just shows you what they are. They, they're just a bunch of thugs and criminals, period. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I know. I understand. So we will wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining us. And we, I'm just going to close down the space. That's all right, ladies? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, this time. And the fundraiser is right on top in the room. Thank you. Got him. Get Wally. Bye. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Well- How embarrassing. He who laughs last laughs the hardest. Uh, Until next time, looking forward to your comments.